welcome back to my youtube channel salesforce and so today i'm going to show you how to work on the deployment parts using chain set okay so it's all about chain set how to work on the chain set so if you are new in this channel so please subscribe my youtube channel salesforce and and please watch this video until end because it's very important for us if you are working some deployment stops in salesforce okay so let's get started without any further delay so here you can see what is chain set in salesforce okay this is chain set here you can see so with the help of chain set we can use chain sets to send customization from one org to another org okay always remember suppose you have some uh, two org like sandbox or production and if you want to send some data or we can say that not data particular meta uh, metadata so like uh, sandbox to production so how to do that so with the help of chain set we can do that there are so, so many steps but uh, right now I'm talking about only chain set so that's why I'm showing this one okay for example you can create and test new object in a sandbox okay sandbox or then send it send it to your production or using chain set so for example I will I will show you this one so don't worry about that in a few minutes after few minutes you can see this one and chain set can contain only modification you can make through the setup menu right if you change some uh, like a configuration part so it's totally recognized each and every point under this chain set stuff okay for example you, you cannot use a chain set to upload a list of contacts always remember because data is not considered in chain set always so upload a list of contacts records chain set content information about the org they don't content any data here you can see don't contain any data such as a records right so this is all about the chain set definition what is chain set and how to work on the chain set so i just logged in into environment like here uh, let me draw some this is the sandbox suppose that let's say this is the sandbox and this is the production here you can see right this is the production and I want to create some custom object under the sandbox so this is for uh, and uh, I want to send this custom object or custom field into the production right so there are two types of chain set always remember like inbound chain set and outbound chain set right so what is inbound chain set or what is outbound chain set in Salesforce so inbound chain set is nothing but it's accept the outbound message or we can not outbound message outbound chain set from the another or okay suppose that i already created some custom object or we can say that custom fields under this sandbox okay so so here you can see like uh, uh, this is for outbound this is for outbound okay and production can accept as a inbound here you can see inbound right this is inbound and if you want to create some uh, custom object or custom field under this production so it is for the outbound and this outbound uh, is for the sandbox as a inbound here you can see so this is the process to in and out process okay always remember okay so it's time to do some practical part so let's get started in my org okay so here you can see I just logged in so here you can see I just logged in my org this is my org and here you can see this is production org and this is sandbox org okay so let me create some custom object under the sandbox so how to do that just click this setup and once you go this setup so you have to create some custom object as filled as well filled so here you can see it's quick find and in under the quick find you have to search like objects like objects and click this objects and create new custom objects right and this custom object like anything as you want like pqr okay and pqrs something like that this is my custom object right for a demo purpose so just save it so i have already created now you can see this pqr custom object and now let me create one custom field under this object so how to do that so with the help of new button we can create and I, this time I want to create some email field 
just click the next and uh, you have to enter the label as well okay like email under this uh, email field right so here you can see I just created this email field here and now you have to enter like email here and just click the next okay once you click the next so you have to save this field under this object like pqr okay so let me save it here like next then save so i have created one custom object one custom field under this object right so how to deploy this custom object and custom field uh, into the production environment okay so we already created and uh, configure some settings under the sandbox or as well production environment so this is our sandbox here you can see now it's time to create our uh, chain set so how to create chain set so under the quick find you have to search like outbound because it's time to send this outbound chain set to production so how to do that so first of all we have to create this outbound chain set now here you can see outbound chain set now click the new okay click the new and you have to enter your chain set like uh, custom object pqr something like that okay if you want to give some description so you can give otherwise leave it as it is so this is custom object like that save it now is uh, here you can see our chain set is successfully saved now it's time to add our component under this chain set area so how to do that just with the help of this add button we can add the component under this area okay so now just select this drop down like component type so this is the drop down and you have to like search here like custom object like here you can see custom object right so you have to choose this custom object and now you can see my object here like pqr this one just select this and add to chain set okay so here you can see this this is add and this already added here you can see chain set now it's time to add the dependency as well some custom field like oh we already created like email something like that okay so just click this view and add dependency okay now after that you can see view and uh, dependency like this is email field is related to this object and this page loud just select the all and add to chain set right so just we already added these things like custom field custom object and page layout right so it's time to upload this chain set into the production environment so how to do that just click this upload here like upload and now you can see one option like this uh, small uh, blood points just select this and click again this upload and after that you can see one message like uh, your chain set upload is currently in progress now after some times you can see as a successfully right you can see the your chain set was successfully uploaded right so it's uh, now our sandbox now our sandbox work is done now and now it's time to check under the production environment okay so first of all we have to log in this production environment and now just click this setup here and uh, once you click this setup and you have to search like inbound sensor so this time is inbound sensor okay so like inbound you have to search this inbound chain set right now okay and after that you can see my inbound chain set like uh, custom object pqr right so just click this custom object pqr here okay and now you can see two button here like validate deploy and delete right so first uh, the good practice or we can say the best practice to deployment part always check your validation right so just click this validation like validate and here you can see four types of validation options like default run local test run all the test run a specific test so you can learn from here these all definition like under the default uh, you cannot include 
like doesn't contain apex contains and no test run cases like that okay so let me choose this one because i need some run test so you can easily understand what is going on with the help of this button so just click this validation validate and just click the ok and you can see deployment process and click this deployment status and now you can see the deployment status here like uh, one test is feature here just click this view details okay once you click this view details and you can uh, see one error like run, uh, run apex test like error something like that because of your code coverage is 42 you need to at least 75 code coverage right so just go ahead just go back here and again you have to validate or we can say that again you have to click this validate button and keep like as a default and validate just click ok and you can see validation is going on just click this deployment status and now you can see validation like validate succeed you can see under the view details like successfully deployed three components right so just go back again and just go back again here and back again back and now it's time to deploy here okay just click this deploy and it's also showing four options like default run local test all the things so just click now deploy then click ok now it's time to check this deployment things so here you can see deployment status just click this deployment status and now you can see deployment uh, succeeded just click this view details and now you can see the status of the deployment right so here you can see our deployment status yeah so you can see deployment components three by three here you can see three component is successfully deployed now just click this go back here go back again and go back again and it's time to check uh, our object is available under this production environment or not so just um, go back here and search like objects okay so under the create you can select object just click this and now you can see my custom object like pqr here uh, you can see here this pqr okay so here you can see this pqr so just click this pqr because it's coming from sandbox and now you can see uh, modify by double uh, deployment user okay you can see and these all standard field and this is the custom field here this email we already created this one right here you can see okay so so this is the way to deploy our custom object custom field under the uh, using the chain set the under the salesforce okay so guys i hope you learned something new in this video and please subscribe my youtube channel salesforce and for more updates and till then bye bye take care